Kia ora. I'm Anna from Marlborough District Council and Enviro Schools Marlborough and today I'm going to be reading Eel Song by Amber McEwen. She's a freshwater scientist and she loves eels about as much as I do so I hope you enjoy this one. High in the hills where the birds still speak in a hole in a pool in a silver cold creek Tuna, long thin tanifa sleeps Dark, dark, dark in the velvet deeps. She feeds and she rests in the high hill ranges. Grows old, old, old while the whole world changes. A time comes to pass when the sea sends a dream. Time to go, time to leave, time to swim downstream. As the autumn rains fall and the floodwaters climb, down, down, down sings the voice in her mind. Then the salt of the tide makes the voice shout within, Tuna, long fin, tunny far swim. With no looking back, she leaves land behind, carrying with her the hopes of her kind. Through the vast open ocean, she swims shallow, dives deep, swims north, 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 with a promise to keep. When the waters grow warmer and the sea floor drops, she knows she has found where her life's journey stops. Then the others arrive, groups of one, two and three, and together they dive to the bottom of the sea. They dance and they mate, then their life's light dims. But their little eggs hatch so that life still swims. Leaf fish, larvae, life brand new. And they drift, drift, drift with the rhythm of the blue. Back to New Zealand the sea songs sing. For their first taste of home in the flood flows of spring. Tunariki, Alva, welcome back. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle while the nights are black. Wind your way through the streams of our nation as you reach the end of your first great migration. And the wide realms of Tane sing celebration at the return of the next Longfin Eel generation. Thanks, see you later.